Hey guys, so now that the Galaxy S20 and the Galaxy Z Flip have been launched, we can turn our attention to some other flagships, namely the Pixel 5. Less than 4 months after the Pixel 4's launch, Google seems to have started working on their next flagship for 2020. Pixel 4 has to be one of the most disappointing phones of 2019. It's not like it's a bad phone, but then there is more than one contributing factor for its failure. Google finally gave us more than one camera, but fell short of providing any more than two, that too with a telephoto lens, while everyone was expecting a wide angle. So Google working on Pixel 5 is a good idea and maybe this year we will get our dream Pixel phone. Now according to John Presser of Front Page Tech, he has received CAD files for the Pixel 5 which to be honest looks hilarious to me. But then these are times when phones have obnoxious camera bumps so I guess this one's cute. We have three cameras on the back arranged in an upside down triangle shape with the flash in the middle. We can expect to have a main camera along with a wide angle and a telephoto to be a part of the setup. The arrangement resembles a startled Pikachu face in my opinion. Although it doesn't really matter how it looks if a phone manages to click great pictures like always, Pixel 2, 3 and 4 have all been great camera phones. I just hope that Google focuses on video a bit more this time around. Prosa also notes that the Pixel 5 will still have a forehead, though smaller than the Pixel 4. This likely means that Google isn't ditching the Soli radar and their face unlock feature. The presence of a Soli radar will also be a no-no for the Indian market. If you recall, the Pixel 4 was not launched in the Indian market. Also the back will be matte finished and the camera bump glossy just like last time. Considering how early it is, this leak should be taken with a big pinch of salt and the design can change. This can very well be one of the designs for the Pixel 5. Moving back to the Galaxy S20, we have the prices of these phones in India. Galaxy S20 sells for 66 triple nine rupees, S20 Plus for 73 triple nine, while the S20 Ultra goes for 92 triple nine rupees, each having a 128GB USS 3.0 internal storage. Definitely expensive phones. If you order the S20 Plus or S20 Ultra, you'll be able to get the Galaxy Buds Plus for 2000 rupees only. These devices are up for pre-order now and will ship to you starting the 6th of March for the S20 and 13th of March for the S20 Ultra. Do let me know what do you think about the prices in the comment section below. Seems like Samsung disabled the 120Hz refresh rate for the screen on the S20 models in the interest of a better battery life as well as RAM consumption. 120Hz at WPHD would allegedly use a lot of RAM making the experience less than ideal. But the phones have 12GB of RAM at least, 11GB of which is available to the system. With most phones surviving with 4 or 6 gigs of RAM, I don't know what 11GB is used for. If it can be useful, but not have it. On the other hand, I also believe that Full HD Plus is a decent resolution and most people won't even notice the difference. So if you ask me, I am okay with 120Hz at Full HD Plus, but Samsung should have given an option here. If you like the content on this channel, please hit the like button, it makes me happy. Also consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.